everybody what's up welcome or welcome back to my channel today I am doing something that I've been waiting to do or wanting to do for a while probably do another one I really like watching these kind of videos it is a Q&A a beauty slash YouTube Q&A so I'm super excited to share with you guys my answers to your questions that you had for me but before we get started if you are new here hi I'm Jamie B I upload three YouTube videos every single week so if you don't want to miss out on any of those go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me and the bell notification next to it so you can be notified when I do upload those videos and without further ado we're gonna get right into this video as always anything that I am wearing or is on my face will be in the description box if I don't list it you can always ask me in the comments and I will let you know what it is where it's from all of that fun stuff so we're gonna get right into this we'll go to YouTube first because I did put it on my community tab and I got a couple of questions from there and then I'll move on to Instagram and Facebook. The first one, and I'm not going in any order, the first one I picked was favorite Kylie Cosmetics product. Ooh. So if we're talking current, I don't know yet. I placed an order, it should be here soon, but it's not here yet. If we're talking previous, my two favorite things from her are her concealer, I love them. When they went on clearance or went on sale at for $5 from Ulta, I'm telling you, I bought 10 of them. I really enjoyed her concealer. I know that some people did not like it. They didn't like the consistency of it, but I thought it was a very nice coverage, but it was also buildable. So I could go from like a light creamy coverage to a more full thick coverage. But I, I really enjoyed, I really did enjoy her concealer. The only thing is normally I think they're like $20. So they are a little bit pricey. So when I got it for $5, I was like, okay, okay. And then her liquid lipsticks, I know. A lot of people are like, they're so dry, they're so dry, but I have never had an issue with her liquid lipsticks. If I'm being honest, I have dry lips, okay? <laughs> crusty is this face okay it just it is what it is it's dusty crusty musty so i am not new to the dry skin issues weight the weight of your dry skin so many things are dry like this is a morphe liquid lipstick and it is kind of dry too so i find that a lot of liquid lipsticks are more on the dry side but that's kind of their thing if you will it's kind of their vibe but i loved the idea and i thought it was a very innovative thing to the beauty community when she did a lip kit where it was the lip liner and the lipstick together because if you know before that time finding a perfect lipstick and lip liner was really hard to do so that was kind of awesome and I like the wear of them I feel like they come off very nice they do start to crumble after several hours of wear like on the inside but that really happens to me with any matte liquid lipstick so it, I just feel like they faded nicely I loved her rain like her array of colors so I would have to say my favorite Kylie products as of right now from her previous collection and previous items concealer and liquid lipsticks. Your top three high-end makeup. Mm. Are we talking makeup brands or makeup items? Okay, I'll do both because I don't really know. So top three high-end brands are gonna be Hourglass. I do like a lot of products from Hourglass. I love the Vanish Stick and the Vanish Liquid. It's hard for me to find my perfect match, so I have to mix them. I do love their powders. I do love their foundations. It's just, they're so good. The next one would be... I'm trying to think of what the what high end like do we are we talking about luxury or prestige because if we're talking like Chanel Dior and all that I don't I don't have any of that so and the one time I bought a hundred and twenty dollar La Mer foundation I hated it so let's keep it to like prestige brand my next one would have to be milk makeup I really really enjoy their product I don't think I've ever found anything that I've disliked except for the holographic highlighter but if I'm being honest I probably shouldn't have bought it because I don't have like holographic highlighter however I do really like their brand I think that they have a lot of nice products and they're really nice complexion products and their powder the blurring set is my favorite I think my third's gonna have to be Huda I feel like she's a prestige brand I love her foundations I love her beauty sponges I love her eyeshadows I love her liquid lipstick there's not really the only thing that I would say that I didn't care for were the highlighter palettes and not that they weren't good I just didn't go for them I don't use them and if we're talking my top three favorite high-end makeup products I'm gonna go with the Fenty Gloss Bomb. This is just one that I grabbed. I have every single one she's ever made and they are stunning. They feel 
amazing. They look amazing. They can go over lipstick. They can be worn on their own. She just, when she made gloss, I refuse to not buy this gloss. And then I have a Charlotte Tilbury setting powder. I Guys, this setting powder blew me away when I first bought it. First of all, I think I only own like two Charlotte Tilbury items and one is the magic setting powder and I absolutely hate it and I think it's trash and it's expensive for nothing. But she is amazing. I put this on and it looked like my face was photoshopped. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. And then the Hourglass Vanish Liquid Foundation. I like the stick as well, but I do prefer the liquid. So, but those are my favorite high end, three high end brands and high end products. Top five celebrity makeup brands that are your favorite. Ooh. Got this. Laura Lee Los Angeles, Lunar Beauty, Fenty. I do love the Dragon Beauty setting powder, the transformation palette. So I guess I could put that in there, but I haven't really tried a lot of Dragon Beauty stuff, but I'll put that in as one. And then, ooh, another celebrity. Makeup by Mario. Mm, I, dude, anything he freaking produces i want it who or what was your inspiration to start this channel much love from a small country in balkan balkan i hope i pronounced that correctly okay so it wasn't really a who it was a what so i want to say in 2015 was when i originally started my youtube channel <laughs> you can't see those videos they're hidden it was atrocious and then i stopped and came back in 2018 and that's when i've kind of been like more steady and kind of really growing it i want to exclude 2015 because i don't feel as though like i really just did like a handful of videos and then moved on with my life but the reason I came back in 2018 and was really kind of dedicated and more excited like I've been into makeup for a very long time very long time however I had been watching YouTube from probably like 2013 up until 2018 and I was following everybody you can think of from Katie Lustry Lux Crispy James Charles to Jaclyn Hill to Jeffers every every major YouTube I think Nicole Guerrero was my first ever YouTuber that I followed period everyone you can think of I followed the problem is <laughs> As of about 2018, it could have been sooner, but this is when I noticed it, the beauty community itself started to get really overtaken by scandals and drama and just gossip and toxic behavior and toxic energy. And I just was sitting there one day and I told my husband, I said, you know, I really miss when I could get on YouTube in the makeup area and just watch makeup tutorials, you know, just watch beauty videos. So then I just said, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm not going to talk about scandals. I'm not going to talk about drama. Here I am talking about it, but you know what I mean. I'm not going to talk about, you know, hate and negativity. So what I decided to do from that point was I'm really going to just dig in and create this channel and grow with this community. And I don't care if it's small or if it's large, you're not going to get any of that here. We're not going to address scandals. We're not going to hate on people. I'm going to review makeup for what it is makeup. Now, if there is a brand that I do not support personally, I just won't review them. I just won't buy their stuff. You will never know it because I don't talk about it. I feel like we consume so much negativity and gossip and toxic things that it really starts to overwhelm ourselves without knowing it. Like what you watch and consume all day long really starts to take a toll on you and you just don't notice it until you're like reflecting and you're like, I'm really in a negative space here. Like I just need to go. So what inspired me the most was I wanted a part of beauty to just be that about the beauty where Jacqueline fans can come, Jeffrey fans can come. Like, do you know what I mean? Just like anybody from any part of the world, any part of the internet can come here, have fun, find makeup, find someone that you could talk to and not have to worry about. It's just too much. I, at the point in my life where mental health is so important, I think that it's important for us to realize what we're taking in. And also a lot of people have younger fan bases, if you will. And those children, they're ch that's what they are, they're children, are in taking all of this negativity and gossip and scandals like a tabloid just feeding into them and I just think it's gross so I just don't do that here and that was just that was my main inspiration was I wanted to make a difference. I don't think that the beauty community itself is toxic. I just think that we have allowed it to get muddy. So I figure if small YouTubers like myself can get together and just go, you know what? Fuck this. We're done. We're going back to what we were. Fun. Beauty. Yes. All that. Positive vibes. No scandals. No hot mess situations. No spilling the tea. Like, ugh. 
no. So here comes me, Jamie B, into my corner of the internet. So if you made it here into this part of YouTube, I hope that you enjoy it. I hope that I do bring you joy when it comes to makeup and beauty. I hope that I do help. If there's any videos you ever want to see, you can always comment them down below. But I just hope that I make beauty fun for you again. I hope that I make it positive. I hope that all the negativity in the beauty community is just drained away when you watch my videos because that was my goal, was to be a beauty channel that was just about beauty. Hopefully Hopefully I'm doing my job. If not, fuck, I'm gonna have to find something else to do. <laughs> so thank you for asking that question because I think it's really important because a lot of people, I don't think they know why I started YouTube other than like I love everything beauty, obviously. Okay. Top five moisturizing hair products. <laughs> I have the driest hair in the world, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best. I wasn't able to buy fi find five. I have an entire brand that I really find to be super hydrating and moisturizing for my hair, and it is Girls with Curls. I've used this since I found it at TJ Maxx. It's very affordable. If you can find it at your TJ Maxx, this is the one I like the most. This is the Coconut Curl Mask. I hope you can see that. This is amazing. I use both the shampoo and the conditioner, both hydrating, and then I also. So I like to use the styling coconut cream mask and then I also like to use I think it's I don't I got this from like a sample I think I don't remember project beauty hair gird I hope that this helps I don't know where it's from but I think I got I don't know how I got this I don't know if it was a sample or what it was, but this is an intense yogurt hair mask. Anything with yogurt, anything with coconut, don't do coconut oil. I found that that destroyed my hair, but anything like coconut cream based has really done wonders. And then I use, it's not your mother's curl talk shampoo and conditioner. I don't have it in here because it's actually in my shower. That's the one I use the most. And I do find that that moisturizes my hair pretty well. I know that there are a lot of things now for curly, coarse, more dry hair. Hair. you just have to really kind of look for it but I don't know that I've ever actually taken care of my hair the way I'm supposed to I do the best I can with my curls and taking care of them but when it comes to like my hair being dry I use a lot of like oils and stuff so I just I don't know that I have like a top five but if I could recommend something it would be the girls with curls 100% because being amazing that moisturizes my hair it keeps my curls beautiful my hair isn't all frizzy and crazy and it's fucking cheap I think I get it for like $5.99 so I hope that that helps with that question but I don't know that I focus a lot on hydration for my hair, which I should because <laughs> it's dry. What makeup brands do you no longer buy? Ah, I was hoping this was not a question. Um, I'll tell you what brands I don't buy, but we're not going to talk about why because those are just my personal opinions and views and not everyone feels that way and everyone has different perspectives on things. So um, I don't buy anything James Charles. I don't buy anything Jeffree Star. I don't buy anything from Too Faced. Um, I'm trying to think of any other brands like I'm, I won't buy. I think those are really it. So hopefully that helps. And again, I don't really want to get into the why for most of them just because they're just personal views on things and personal opinions and everyone has their own and I don't ever want to make anyone uncomfortable. And again, I don't want to bring any drama or crazy like negativity to this area. So we'll just leave it at those are the ones I don't buy from. If you don't like that I don't buy from them, I'm sorry I can't help you with that but it just is what it is you know my personal opinion the last question for youtube is your what is your favorite your top three favorite brands laura lee los angeles lunar beauty and fenty if we're talking lower end brands i would have to go with pixie wet and wild and elf so i'll give you three drugstore three middle areas so the one question i got was best reasonably priced dewy foundation that doesn't cake but sets well i have two of them the fenty eavesdrops is a skin tint and it's amazing. The reason that I like this skin tint and I do recommend this for more of a dewy look is because it isn't like a skin, like a moisturizer, like a tinted moisturizer. It has more coverage than that. And you can build it to have as much coverage as you want. Like right now, I have that on. <laughs> Like, it looks pretty good, right? But like, you can see like just my natural, beautiful skin coming through, but it gives me that coverage where I feel confident and I feel good. Do you know what I mean? But that is literally hands down my favorite. It is a little bit more pricey than the one I'm about to tell you. The eavesdrops are $29.50. So it's pretty expensive because it's like, it's like this big. So, but it's just, whew, my skin, I wear this foundation almost every time you see me on camera. 
since I've gotten it unless I'm testing out a new foundation so that's how much I love it it just really lets your natural glow and your natural skin come through just enough to give it like that just that fresh look and it sets very well so the second one I would say is the wet n wild photo focus dewy foundation just be mindful when you're picking it out because there is one that's just photo focus I think it might be matte or just photo focus and then there's photo focus dewy and I think it's like top seven dollars at Ulta it's amazing you can get it at Walmart I think it's actually a little bit cheaper at Walmart than it is at Ulta like I've reviewed it on here and it gives me such a glow such a good feeling the only thing that I hate about it is the applicator okay it doesn't have a pump it doesn't have no it's like <laughs> you twist it out and it's like a spatula attached to the lid so that was that was the only thing but you know it's that's something small that I feel like someone could get by but I really really do love that foundation and if you're looking for something inexpensive that's gonna be the one to go to and it is buildable so you can start very light and get pretty full coverage with it favorite article of clothing these are from Instagram um t-shirts <laughs> so if you are new here you probably haven't seen like my 10 things about me or whatever or where I rant about the things that I like to you're never gonna catch me in like what you would think a beauty youtuber would wear these like tube tops crop tops shiny things I just that's not who I am this whole area right here is literally full of t-shirts because that is my wardrobe. I mean, I have a closet full of clothes because I, I do work outside of YouTube. Um, I have some dresses and I think I wore a romper one time looking real sassy on here. But this is like my uniform for YouTube. If I'm getting dressed to do a video, this is where it comes. T-shirts, biker shorts, or, or pantsless if I'm feeling it, you know? But it, my favorite, favorite article of clothing t-shirts I just love them like I'm not you're not gonna get that fancy fancy bougie bougie out of me I might wear a hoodie but <laughs> that's as far as it's going like I don't even really wear jewelry like that sometimes sometimes I do sometimes I'll come on here and I'll be like oh, I'm really feeling myself and like put my hair up or something and put some earrings on but for the most part like this is this is a Star Wars shirt so like that's just t-shirts okay t-shirts your least favorite beauty brand Ooh. <laughs> I try to like dodge these questions because I just find that it's very personable I feel like or personal not personable I feel like it's very perspective where I may dislike something but you guys may not do you know what I mean but if I'm being honest my least favorite makeup brand <laughs> is urban to I cannot stand Urban Decay. I don't like really any of their products. I think that when I first got into makeup, I look back and I'm just like, what the fuck was wrong with me? Because like their makeup wasn't that great. It still isn't that great. And I think that they should hang up their hat and call it a day. But again, it's all personal preference. If you guys love Urban Decay, please don't at me. It's just a question I was asked. I had to answer it. And the last question is, do you want to do YouTube full time? Like as in like my my only job instead of working um, like I do instead of working this is work but do you mean like I guess like quitting my job situation is what I'm going off of when they say full time yeah I mean if I who doesn't want to wake up and do what they love every day I love my job my day job it's very easy you know I push papers kind of situation it's an easy job I get paid decent money but if I could wake up and go downstairs into like my studio and just turn on the camera and just film and create content all day Monday through Friday or even longer I would absolutely love that like and then obviously I'm getting paid so that's awesome too you know what I mean but I'm gonna be honest I don't know how do I put this I don't want to be uh, like Jacqueline, like Desi, like Manny, like Laura. I don't want to be up there in the millions. I just find that it becomes very overwhelming. Um, it's no longer like a fun job. It's now like you're a celebrity. You're I don't want any of that. I never want that. I've never wanted that. I want it. I would like I would like theoretically to have a community the size big enough 
that I could make what I make now my day job making content I would love that so probably if I'm being in numbers guessing no more than like 200,000 subscribers just because I see it happen I see these people go from enjoying what they do here to really really just burning out so yes I would love to do YouTube full-time but like cap it <laughs> like like stop it at a certain extent because do I believe do I manifest that I could go all the way of course I do of 110% I wake up every day and in my journal I write that I'm going to be doing YouTube full-time I will do YouTube full-time I will grow on this platform I will do what makes me happy and my passion for the rest of my life but like cap it like if the universe could like just like half my manifestations like just half of it if that makes any sense I know I'm talking a lot I'm almost done but as viewers you see me here like hey hey life a lot goes into these videos and I think that being a smaller channel or a smaller community I have more leeway because I feel more personally attached to you guys like you see me and you're like hey and I know you you know person for person like Ray and I know Steph and there's so many people Tammy who get on here and they comment and they engage with me and I love that and I think that if I got to where the higher youtubers are now mr beast etc it's too much and it's no longer for you guys it's no longer personal it's now for millions of people so would i love to be able to do youtube full time basically yes but I don't want to get so big that I lose my passion and my love for what I do. Like, I would love to wake up and just create content every day. Like, that would be my dream come true. So I hope that answered your question as to do I want to do YouTube full time? I feel like I kind of like went way too deep for that question but i hope it really helped and answered your question i loved all of your guys's questions if you want to see another q a whether it be beauty related makeup skin hair clothes whatever it may be comment down below and let me know i can do another one i usually put them up on my um instagram too so if you don't want people to see what you're asking on youtube then you can always go over there i think they have an anonymous thing i don't know but you can also just do it where only i can see and then i don't announce who said it just because privacy reasons of course but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it helped you learn a little bit about me and the things that i love and the reasons that i do youtube and as always guys if you did enjoy this video don't forget to hit that like button for me and i will see you guys on the next one bye